Ahoy, you scurvy ruffians of the seas, it's the Cursed Captain here. After my last encounter with the mysterious pirate known as the Researcher, I wanted to learn more about the future of our beloved seas and what he may believe is heading our way. So I went and grabbed Shadow and told her of the mission I needed her to go on for me. As a loyal companion of mine, she didn't mind at all, and I sent her on her way. When she returned, she had a note from the researcher, and I don't know if there is enough grog in this tavern for what I'm about to share with you, but this is what the researcher had to say. Dear Curse Captain, the future ahead for the Sea of Thieves may be even darker than I once thought. Our seas could suffer the greatest plague to ever try and enter. We could be looking at a Grand Maritime Union's invasion. With the arrival of Smuggler's Fortune, there may have been some changes to the world of the Sea of Thieves. When we last spoke, I theorized upon an uprising within the Sea Dogs and the potential awakening of Flameheart himself. This time, however, I fear an even greater threat may be slowly creeping into our waters. The threat is none other than the Grand Maritime Union. They are an organization largely shrouded in mystery, but what little information there is on them paints a very concerning picture for the future of piracy in our beloved seas. What is known of the GMU is that they control most of the seas outside of the Shroud and have effectively eliminated most of the pirates in the surrounding territories, except for the Sea of Thieves. Apparently, the GMU attempted to invade the seas, but to no avail, despite having acquired a map that would help navigate through the Shroud and allow passage into our waters. Their ships were far too large and many of their vessels and crews were sent to the ferrymen. The lucky few to survive, both the Shroud's devastation and the onslaught of pirate attacks would go on to eventually found the Merchant Alliance we know today. Recently it seems new shops have opened up. Apparently they sell special goods not native to the Sea of Thieves. Their vendors are even more interesting indeed. Hold on one second mates, I need a refill on my grog. All right, Tina, I want the best stuff you got here. Not the blue, I want the red stuff over there. Can you can you do that for me? I promise I'll pay my tab on time this time, all right? Hiya. See you next time. Oh, this is this is the stuff, mateys. All righty. Okay, I need uh I need one more Tina for the road if you don't What's mind. Your all right, thanks, Tina. Day. All right, mates. Uh where where was I? Upon speaking with several of the shopkeepers, some interesting information can be learned. Not only were they originally gold hoarders, but are also current members of the GMU. I've spoken to many of the shopkeepers, and while many of them avoided talking in further detail of their involvement with the GMU, I did learn a few things interesting things. According to Earl, the shopkeeper found on Ancient Spire Outpost, the ancient coins are a currency that predates even the first pirates set foot into the Sea of Thieves. The symbols emblazoned on these coins were apparently the inspiration behind the pirate lord Sigil as well. What's more is the GMU has been stockpiling these coins for an unknown purpose. The final stop I made was to the Sea Dog Tavern where I spoke with Ellis, the Emporium shopkeeper that can be found inside. He would go on to give me perhaps the most important bit of information yet. That while on the shores of gold they discovered that the ancient coins also possessed magical properties. More specifically the ability to move the shroud. If what these shopkeepers say is true and that they are stockpiling these magical coins that can bend the shroud, then it may be possible for the GMU to land a full-scale invasion into the Sea of Thieves and potentially take it over. Perhaps this is what the trading companies have been truly preparing for this entire time. Their arrival to the Sea of Thieves could spell the end of piracy for us all, and I don't even think Flameheart would stand a chance against them. I suppose only time will tell, Curse Captain. For now I must go. If I find any more information, I will contact you. 
I am getting that feeling that we all may need to prepare for a battle of epic proportions coming our way, mates. So while we still have time, sharpen your swords, pirate the seas, and above all, above all, don't forget to hail to the whale lord, for we need his mercy on us if the GMU does launch a full-scale invasion of our beloved seas.